behind the playoffs this week with a win, how, how much would that mean? I mean, you take it every game at a time, but that's the goal. If you win, if you beat the Falcons, right. that's your prize. To a degree it is, but, uh, you know, up until this point and, you know, furthermore, it would, all be, it would always be a strategic plan, you know, each week. You know, we're not thinking ahead. We're, 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 our main focus is the Atlanta Falcons and uh, trying to become 13-0 by, by any means necessary. Uh, we know this is a great team. Uh, at one point, they were undefeated just like we were. Um, and they, you know, just, you know, dropped the ball in some instances in some close games. And it can fare well win either way. So, you know, we're not letting it dictate the, uh, the, their record dictate their, our performance, how we prepare for those guys, because we know they're a great team. They have a lot of great talent on that team. And that we just got to be prepared for them. Your leadership and how you would define it. How has that changed in this one year? Two very different teams. And I know you've gotten this question a lot. <laughs> I've got a lot of questions about my leadership, about what makes this team go. But this is the same person that people critiqued and analyzed when I first came into this league and, and used to soak under the towel. You know, I hate to lose. You know, let's not get that wrong. It's the same person. Uh, nothing's pretty much changed. It's just we were winning. I, I say it often, and I say it again. Winning sweeps a lot of things under the table that is acceptable, um, and it kind of puts makeup on a lot of a lot of blemishes. Uh, if I were doing some of the things that I'm doing now, and we were losing, you know, people will find something to point to say, well, Cam's not doing this, or this particular quarterback's doing that. It's just the fact that our record is flawless right now, and that's allowing people to say, well, maybe we're not looking at it in this sense. But I haven't changed. The people in that locker room know I haven't changed. The people upstairs know I haven't changed. And as a matter of fact, they haven't changed either. It's just some um, guys growing up and in, in, in seeing a, more football and understanding what to do in different circumstances. And, um, you know, that's just overall growth.